me, it was a Friday night. I lived in Boaz, Wisconsin. I was 14 years old. I needed money. I walked down the road to the local restaurant and bar, asked the owner if I could have a job. He said, yeah, but you got to start right now in the dish pit, Friday night in a steakhouse. It was crazy. I loved it. It was awesome. Five hours later, I was all sweaty. The intensity was unbelievable. And young girls started walking up to me and handing me money. I didn't know that was going to happen. They were sharing their tips. It, for a 14-year-old, it was the coolest thing in the world. Young ladies, many of them highly attractive, walking up to me and giving me money. I really haven't had that happen all that often since. That is when you fall in love with the restaurant industry or not. Later that night, one of the chefs walked up to me, and he said, what would you like? What do you mean? Well, what do you want for dinner? We always make everybody whatever they want for dinner after their shift. Now, I got to tell you, I grew up dirt poor. My mom raised a whole gaggle of kids by herself. I'd never had a steak before. That night was my first one. I ordered a New York strip steak. The guy told me it would be one of the best ones. He brings me a New York strip steak with potatoes, which I grew up in Wisconsin. We love steak and potatoes, but I'd never had it before. I didn't have to pay for it. He brings it out to me. He asked me how I wanted it cooked. I said, done. I didn't know what to answer. He brings it out, a medium rare New York strip steak. Potato, corn. Corn is a big deal in Wisconsin. Not only did I fall in love with having people bring me money, cash, to share their tips, I fell in love with steak in a restaurant. Very nice. But I fell in love with the intensity of the restaurant business. The instant gratification of running 100 miles an hour. I don't have to be bored. Now, since then, I've went through being a waiter, a host, a shift manager, all the way through different restaurant chains to writing books about restaurants now, giving seminars, giving speeches, providing consulting services. It is the greatest industry, in my opinion, known to man. It is the one industry that come heck or high water, no matter what the economy is, people got to eat. Won't go away. But if you take a brand new hire, especially a kid, and you bring them in on a Tuesday when nothing's happening, and you don't give them the benefit of the intensity, day one, the boot camp that they deserve, they will probably never fall in love with it. It's not for everybody. So there will be certain people that say they don't like the intensity. And at least they will quit quickly. In my world, if you don't do the boot camp, <laughs>